Hey everyone, this is Michael Dougal, the Nootropic Reviewer, and during this video today, I'm going to do a product review of Sigma, which is one of the most popular testosterone boosting blends. And so you all know, just up front, I think this is a really good product for the price. I would rate it a 9 out of 10. But I will say one thing which really separates this product from some of its competitors is the ingredient formula. And that's what we will jump straight into. And these are the supplement facts. We can see the serving size is two capsules. The servings per container is 120. And the ingredients look solid. Vitamin D3, magnesium, zinc, Fidogia agrestis, Tonkat Ali, ashwagandha extract, and boron. And um, and when I've used other testosterone boosters in the past, what the more common ingredients seem to be are zinc and magnesium. Those ones you'll probably find because what so is when you're low on zinc and low on magnesium in your diet anyway, then what so is it's pretty common that low testosterone, it does happen as a result. But what this product has done differently is they've added two of these very trending nootropics out there, Fidogia Agrestis and Tonkat Ali. Um, if you all remember Andrew Huberman in that very famous podcast he did with Joe Rogan, and he specifically listed these two supplements as the most effective as far as the research done on humans. And another one which is very interesting, it's a Nigerian shrub called Fidogia agrestis. And so those two herbal supplements together can give a significant boost in free and active testosterone. And I actually like the idea of testosterone boosting products because if you're new to taking testosterone boosters, you may not want to go ahead and um, spend all your money on one specific ingredient or one specific supplement. So I like the fact that you can get a whole um, kind of assortment of supplements into one blend and then you can determine there afterwards if they did anything for you and if you should uh, continue to take it or adjust the ingredients and just understand whether or not they work for you because the reality is with testosterone boosting supplements out there or testosterone boosting blends they very often work for people who actually have like lower testosterone levels or maybe if you're like mid-range to low range but for the majority of individuals like let's say you're a male in your 20s you're sleeping right and of course you're managing your stress levels likely you're going to have higher testosterone levels or be in like the mid to high range in which testosterone boosting products or natural testosterone boosting products probably won't do anything for you. Or perhaps like the small thing you may notice is a slight mood improvement. That's something which I noticed when I first started taking ingredients like Tribulus or like ZMA. And I've talked about optimizing your testosterone levels in this video over here, you may find helpful. So let's take a look at this product together. Uh, we can see here Sigma higher testosterone and free testosterone levels only costing 10 to $20 per month. That sounds great, but it's sold out. And this isn't the only product on Gorilla Mine which is sold out. I don't know why they're hyping up so many products if they're all sold out. Uh, be better off if it weren't on the website misleading us. Each bottle lasts for 2.5 to 5 months. This is great. The fact that this is a product in which you get a lot of servings. Uh, 240 capsules in total, so 120 servings. And then of course some nice fancy terms. What would we do without the fancy terms and the asterisks? And if you scroll down, unfortunately, you can't see any explanation for that. So I'm not sure what they're referencing there. And let's take a look at the supplement facts. So what we know about vitamin D3, vitamin D3 being great for fat loss, also great for mood. I don't think it's really that important when it comes to it being a testosterone booster or having properties which will help you to um, have any like noticeable signs of improved testosterone levels like higher libido or better sleep. But the most important thing is it's there because if you have low vitamin D, that has a whole host of problems. So this is good in, the, in, the, in that they use the D3 form, which is supposedly better with absorption. We've got magnesium, magnesium great for energy production, better sleep, better mood. Zinc, like I mentioned, 15 milligrams is in a two capsule serving. You never want to go uh, too high with your zinc. Strange things can happen. Gray hairs happen. Hair loss happens. Um, people actually feel worse and get brain fog. And next we have Fidogia agrestis. Like I mentioned, very popular right now. We're very limited on the research. This uh, one supplement would make me personally want to stay away from Sigma just because I'm one of the people waiting for more research that is conclusive, which will help us better determine whether or not Fidogia agrestis is actually safe to consume because there is some scary research out there. You can have issues with your testes. You can also have issues with your heart. So I'll say steer clear of this product if you're somebody with a pretty low risk tolerance like myself. Like I don't see Fidogia agrestis is something that I would practically take every single day. As a matter of fact, um, I took it for a couple of weeks, but I did more and more research on it and it scared me more than it compelled me to take it. Perhaps this could be okay if you're somebody with like, who's like really struggling with their testosterone levels. Maybe you're in a bad mood. Maybe your sleep isn't right. Nothing wrong in that case to, to give it a shot, but we don't know what kind of negative effects it can have. 
not only short term, but long term too. Sometimes we take a supplement and we don't necessarily feel anything bad then, but then it hits us perhaps months, even years afterwards. So I'll, uh, so I'm going to happily wait uh, to get more research done on this particular ingredient before I'm willing to go ahead and try this product or this one ingredient itself. And the next ingredient I want to point out to you is Tonkat Alley. We can see here it's uh, listed at 200 milligrams, the 200 to 1 ratio. This one ingredient is probably responsible for 70 to 80% of the effects of using Sigma because Tonkat Alley, what we know about it is that it's one of the strongest natural testosterone boosters out there. Um, as a result of taking it for just a few weeks, I noticed that I was busting through like plateaus, better sleep. Um, I definitely noticed that I was stronger when it came to the main compound lifts like bench press, deadlift, squat. That's what you want, especially if you're using a product like this. For example, I was plateaued on the bench press. I could not like do reps of 185 pounds. It's not one of my strongest lifts for sure, but with the help of Tonkat Alley, I was able to bust through that plateau and that's what really sold me on Tonkat Alley. And so I have now been using it for about 18 to 24 months. I've really been enjoying it. However, do keep in mind that with Tonkat Alley, unlike some of the other nootropics over here, you should definitely be taking it with a meal. Do not take it fasted, especially a dose like this. This is 200 milligrams of the 200 to one um, ratio, which is a very strong extract. That was definitely a mistake that I made when I was using Tonkat Alley as, as a beginner. I noticed it working and so silly me, I added a little bit more. I raised the dosage to 400 to 500 milligrams. And because I practice intermittent fasting, I was doing that in a fasted state and I couldn't figure why I was so unproductive during the day. And it was because of course, I should have been taking it with a meal. So the way that I'm using Tonkat Alley is I'm taking it along with dinner or my biggest meal of the day. It seems to work better for me. Don't really expect it to do too much when it comes to uh, cognitive benefits. You won't probably notice having a better memory or seeing improvements with like thinking or planning. There's definitely better nootropics out there specifically for that. I've talked about my top five that I'm taking in this video over here. You'll likely find that helpful. But Tonkat Alley, noticeable results. Let's take a look at the next ingredient. We've got ashwagandha extract. What we know about ashwagandha, it's probably the king of herbs, especially in the context of reducing stress levels. Stress resilience is far stronger than what it was prior. 150 milligrams, it's a pretty low dose, but the goal here with this product, of course, is to raise testosterone levels. I don't really think ashwagandha is all that great for improving testosterone levels. Like if we look at examine.com, which has a nice breakdown of some of the research and can tell you specifically what a supplement can be used for. We can see here some of the benefits of ashwagandha listed. We can see noticeable benefits with decreasing anxiety levels and also decreasing cortisol levels. Like of the nootropics out there for reducing cortisol specifically, I can only think of two which are that effective. There's of course ashwagandha and then phosphatidylserine, which makes us a really great supplement if you're experiencing very high stress levels. Maybe you're lacking fulfillment, you're experiencing burnout, all signs of having high cortisol levels. And as a result of having high cortisol levels, it can actually be harmed your body composition, meaning it will make it harder for you to build muscle and it will make it more likely that you store fat, especially in the love handles and the waist area. Next up, we can see there's results with decreasing stress levels, but when it comes to testosterone, it says that there is some minor research suggesting that it can do that. But if you really look at the research for ashwagandha specifically, we can clearly see that the majority of the research has been done on individuals that have low testosterone levels. However, when it comes to individuals that have normal levels of testosterone, probably like yourself, they, they took ashwagandha and didn't really notice too much happening. So for me, not so effective, but I know some people that swear by taking ashwagandha to improve their testosterone levels. And our next ingredient is boron, which is okay. And it's nothing really spectacular. You probably won't see jaw dropping results, but at the same time, um, it doesn't seem to have many negative side effects. The odd person noticed it's working. So what it is, it's an essential uh, mineral. Some of the great benefits from consuming this mineral include the fact that it's essential for growth and the maintenance of bone health and bone. Uh, second, that it greatly improves wound healing. Three, that it does uh, impact the body's use of estrogen, testosterone, and vitamin D. Four, that it boosts magnesium absorption. And five, that it can significantly reduce inflammation. That's always a good thing. However, when you look at people's experiences and you look at some of the research, it's kind of inconclusive. We can see one really great study where it did show that consuming boron on a daily basis did result in having higher testosterone levels, and as you can see in this study over here. However, the subjects were taking 11.7 milligrams and uh, there was only eight individuals eight healthy male volunteers listed over here. And then if we take a look back at the product, we can see here that the dose for a two capsule serving is three milligram with boron. Six milligrams seems to be the more common dose. Three milligrams definitely seems to be on the lower side. So all things being considered, I would give this product a thumbs up. 
I would give it a two thumbs up, but again, the major critique is that it's sold out and this is not the first time this has happened. Hopefully they can get that all fixed up, but assuming that it's available, nothing wrong with giving this a shot. It's fairly inexpensive. It's got Tonka Alley, it's got zinc, it's got some of the major ingredients that a lot of people want to try these days. And so you all know that I am not biased. You will see my product review here on Gorilla Mind Smooth, of which I pretty much gave it a thumbs down. I said that it wasn't too great for the nootropic properties. Is it gonna be effective for you? It depends. Uh, some people really notice these things working just like stimulants. Some people are more receptive to taking caffeine. But the great news is that if you're looking for education on improving your testosterone levels, I have a lot of information covered on my channel. I used to actually be on testosterone replacement therapy. However, I was able to use natural supplements in order to get my way out of that while maintaining very high energy levels. So be sure to check out this playlist here. I've taken a number of nootropics and actually rated them from one to 10 as far as how effective they were at building your testosterone levels. And as always, if you did get value from this video, consider subscribing. And if you are a returning viewer, be sure to drop a comment. I thank you for your interest in nootropics. And if you'd like to chat with me one-on-one, -on -one, you can do so over on Patreon or send me a message on Instagram and be sure to join our Discord server where we have a 24 seven chat room and we're able to answer all time sensitive inquiries. And I will look forward to seeing you all next time.